Hi, this is John from the Fluid team. I'm here today to give you a introduction to the app and how to use it. All right, you can see here I'm in pass-through in the Fluid Podcast Studio at Founders Inc. And uh, in front of me is a window, we have our dock, and then there's also some other things here. Let's start in controllers. So I'm gonna pick up controllers. You can see them right here. And I'm gonna show you how to move windows around, how to open windows, and we'll get started that way. So to move a window with the controllers, you can do it in two ways. One, you can use the grip button. You can just grab it and move it around. You can also use the trigger and grab it from the top here. Move it around that way. And if you're in hands-only mode, you can just set your controllers down. It'll automatically switch if you just double pinch like this. And you can see now my hand is controlling my cursor. I can move it to my left hand with the double pinch of my left hand, double pinch of my right hand, and you can juggle it. <laughs> All right, so to move a window with this, we grab at the top like this. We can move it around like this. To open a new tab, you click this button here. You should open a new tab there. Or we have some favorites here, and those buttons will open that site in a new tab in your current window. So for example, we have Twitter here. I poke that, and it opened Twitter. All right, so there are some settings you can set too. Maybe, for example, you want to change what these default uh, favorites are. We're going to click the Settings button, which is this one right here. And you can see here that we have some options. So they correspond to the buttons here. Let's go ahead and change uh, this button from Twitter to YouTube. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to open our virtual keyboard. Now, Y O U T U. B, B, nope, that's a comma, dot com. I hit enter, save and reload scene, and now you see the button has automatically switched. Let's go ahead and close our settings menu. Let's close Twitter. Let's close these. I'm pinching to close, and let's open YouTube. All right. So now let's, uh, let's open a second window. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to click this button right here for a new window. Open a new window. Bring that maybe right here. And uh, let's bring that a little closer. And let's make it a little bigger. So to make a window bigger, you can mouse over at the corner and pinch and drag and make it bigger. All right. So you can imagine typing like this is a little tedious, and uh, it's good for just watching some content, like a YouTube video. Maybe we'll put some music on. All right, we got some music playing. I'm gonna make this go full screen. There we go. All right, so the real game changer for Fluid is when you use it with a keyboard and mouse. So I have a keyboard and mouse right here. These are paired to my headset with Bluetooth. I'm gonna hide the virtual keyboard. And now you can see it automatically switched to using my mouse right here. And let's say you wanted to get some deep focused work done. All right, I've got my music on and I'm on Google Docs. Let's get some work done. So I'm gonna open a report on the moon landings that I'm working on. And uh, let's make the text a little bigger. And also, maybe let's make our mouse move a little faster. So I'm gonna go to settings, turn my mouse sensitivity up, 1.5 is good for me. And then let's turn off pass through and be in a virtual environment that helps us focus. All right, this is good for me. I'm gonna close settings. And maybe we can zoom in a little bit so I can see the text a little better. All right, you can see here, this just works like a normal computer. So we have our report here. Fluid is awesome. <laughs> All right, maybe we shouldn't submit our report with that. But you can see Fluid is useful for a lot of things. You can watch content, you can work on uh, reports and, and work like this. 
You can even do code in here using GitHub code spaces. There's a lot you can do with Fluid and we're really excited for you to check it out. Now, if you have any trouble, this is an early access app. It's in constant development. You might run into some issues. So you can always go to our Discord. You can also hit this Discord button right here. It'll dump you into the Discord. So we have a channel in our Discord called Get Help right here. And this is the place that if you have like, help, nothing works. So please join our Discord. We're very friendly. We'll give you uh, customer support and other things like that. We are so excited to have you. There's a lot of Easter eggs in the app for you to discover. For example, what does that button do? I'll let you discover. And we're excited for you to join us on this journey into the new world of spatial computing. See you later. John out.